The Jared Dillian Show. I'm Jared Dillian. This is The Jared Dillian Show. If you want to call to talk about your money, please call 844-305-7800. That's 844-305-7800. This is The Jared Dillian Show. You can also go to my website, which is jareddillianmoney.com. That's jareddillianmoney.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter at, at Daily Dirt Nap. Um, so you're in college and you have a paper due. By the way, you know, you know what I think back about college is that the uh, writing assignments I had were not that hard. <laughs> they, they weren't that hard. I mean, it was 10 page paper, double spaced. Like, you can, that's easy. Five page paper, it's super easy. You can do that in like an hour. I don't know what I, why I made such a big deal about these writing assignments, but inevitably what happens is when you have a paper, you procrastinate. You wait until the last possible minute, and then you pull an all-nighter. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Then it ends up being crap. Then you get a C, and then um, the same thing with a test. You know, I, I, the best way to study for a test is to study a little bit each day. And then you're ready for the test. Not you. Not wait till the night before and try to cram. Then you get a C on the test. So I used to do this stuff all the time. I was a big procrastinator. Procrastination will destroy your dreams one day at a time. And I am a professional writer now. This is what I do. I am a writer. And procrastination is the enemy of writers. And you talk about like the blank screen or back in the days of typewriters, the blank piece of paper. And you think about a writer sitting there staring at that blank screen. What am I going to write about? And I, you know, the procrastination thing, I just don't, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for that nonsense. I have to write every single day. Every day I'm writing thousands of words. I can't, I do not have the luxury of being able to procrastinate. I don't get writer's block. Everybody says, what do you do about writer's block? I'm like, okay, here is my cure for writer's block. I turn on the computer, I open Microsoft Word, and I start typing. That, that is my cure for writer's block. I just don't, don't have it. I just I don't have the luxury of dealing with that nonsense. And it doesn't matter if I have anything to say. Sometimes, literally sometimes, I will just start writing anything, and I just see where it goes because I do not have time to procrastinate on stuff. Let's say you have a dream. Your dream could be anything. But let's say your dream is to go to grad school. And let's say you're 40 years old. You've waited this long to go to grad school and you haven't realized your dream yet. And this happens with a lot of people, like life gets in the way, you get married, you have kids, you have work, you have church, you have all this stuff. And who has time to go to grad school? And the, the reality is, is that you do have time if you are more efficient about managing your time. There's hours in the day. There absolutely are hours in the day. You can find them. You can make time. But a lot of but a lot of people with their dreams they procrastinate in their dreams They're like oh, I'll you know I'll I'll they they talk about it you know they just tell people oh you know someday I'm going to go to grad school but then that just never happens they just never end up doing it action is what is called for here action you want you have to take action on stuff how, if you want to go to grad school how do you go to grad school it's easy. You fill out an application. You get transcripts, you get recommendation letters, you write a statement of purpose. It's actually, it's not that hard. There's just a list of things that you have to do and you do those things and then hopefully you get accepted and you go. And then you, you take all those steps. Now you have some more steps. You go, to, you go to classes, you enroll in classes, you do the work, there's homework, there's tests. There's all these steps along the way. And at the end of it, you get a degree. But it's a, it's a matter of action. It's a matter of taking action, not talking about stuff. Not talking about stuff. You know, uh, it, look, it's a lot of work, and you might lose some sleep. 
but it is worth it. Anything that is worth doing is hard. Anything that is worth doing is hard. So, but it's absolutely worth it. And these, these are your dreams we're talking about here. Life is short. It's very short. I, I think about this all the time. I'm, I'm about the age where I start thinking about my mortality. You know, I'm 46 years old, which means there's a pretty good chance I'm past halfway through. That, to me, is a very sobering thought. You know, and then I, I sort of reflect back on my life up until this point, and I haven't always taken advantage. You know, it's funny for me to say that because people look at me, they're like, you know, you know, you've accomplished a lot. But I still I think about things that I could have done along the way. 2011, 2012, 2013, like I, those were a couple years where I was, you know, kind of resting on my laurels. I wasn't doing that much. You know, life is short. Learn to use it carefully. Think less of the future and more of today. Don't wait until next time to try things. Ask that girl out. Spend time with your parents. Hang out with your siblings. Life is incredibly short. If you're not pursuing your dreams, what are you doing? Now, everybody says, I, I, this is, you know, this kills me. Everybody says, I have no regrets. Okay. Um... You know, I think a lot of people, when they get to be 80 years old, they look back at their lives and they say, you know, there's a lot of things I wish I had done. There was a lot of things I wish I had done. And I never, I never want, I never want to be 80, 85, 90 years old, look back at my life and say, I wish I did that, but I didn't. And they think of all the things they could have done, but didn't. Maybe you wanted to take vacations and you didn't. Maybe you wanted to travel and you didn't. Maybe you wanted a hobby. Maybe you wanted to like restore old cars or something like that, but you just never did it. Time is the most precious resource we have. This is a show about money, okay? I mean, without a doubt, this is a show about money. But money is not the hard problem. Money is not the hard problem. Money is the easy problem. The hard problem is time because time is, is a finite resource, and money you can make, you can, money is easy. You can go make money. That's, you know, I, I'm supposedly an expert on that, but I'm telling you, that's the easy stuff. The hard stuff is time. You can't make more time. And I can tell you that time spent on social media is wasted. Like imagine spending 10 years on Twitter fighting with people and getting upset and having nothing to show for it. Every minute of every day is precious. And one of the things I like to say all the time is the most important decision you make with your with your life, the most important decision you'll ever make. It's not what kind of portfolio you have. It's not whether you get a 30-year or 15-year mortgage. It's not any of those things. It's what you do with the next 24 hours. What you do with the next 24 hours is the most important decision you will make in your entire life. Every minute of your life is precious. When you're on your deathbed, are you going to think about all the TV that you watched? Uh, you know, I, 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 one of the things I talk about sometimes is making memories and having, you know, having a lot of memories. And if the time I spend sitting on the couch, you know, with my computer or the TV or whatever, like, I don't, I don't remember those times. It all kind of blurs together. It's, it, time. Time. I tore my ACL in 2013. It was a terrible injury. And before I had surgery, I was walking around with a cane. And I remember I went to Tanger Outlets here in Myrtle Beach. And, you know, I, I was disfigured. Like, my leg was at, like, a 45-degree angle, and I could barely walk. And I had a cane. And I remember passing people that were walking with a cane. <laughs> like I had a cane and I was moving faster than everybody else. You know, I always have a sense of urgency, like time is running out because time is running out. If you want to call to talk about this, please call 844-305-7800. That's 844-305-7800. I went camping last week and I couldn't sleep. So I got out of the tent and I sat in a chair by the fire and I sat there all night 
for seven hours throughout the entire night. I sat there and I watched the sun come up and I thought of some pretty crazy stuff. And I thought about time, how we have a finite amount of time and about how life is precious. And I decided to turn it up to another level. I am running out of time. I am 46 years old and I am running out of time, but everybody is running out of time. That's the secret. We're all running out of time. So I decided to go back to grad school and get an MFA in creative writing because this has been my dream since I was 22 years old. When I was 22, I was in Washington State. I was in the Coast Guard, and I used to go to this bookstore, and I would get these literary journals, and I would read literary fiction. And, you know, they were, these were all written by people with MFAs, and I wanted to get an MFA in creative writing. And I proposed this idea to my family, and they said, you're not going to make any money. You should do something else. And that's when I decided to get an MBA. But I never let go of the dream. I've always had this dream of getting an MFA since I was 22. So at age 46, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm probably going to have to give up some sleep, but it will be worth it because this is my dream, and I'm not going to procrastinate on it any longer procrastination is the enemy procrastination is how you miss out on life life just passes you by because you're too scared to start something what is this resistance we have to starting something it is all about getting through the resistance what is this force that holds us back it is called resistance success in life is about breaking through the resistance I'm Jared Dillian this is the Jared Dillian show Jared Dillian Show.